What's up everybody, it's Onglore. Today's video is going to be on simply how to PvP. This guide is intended for new players and intermediate. If you're advanced, you might learn a couple of tips here, so I hope this video helps you. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so when it comes to PvP, the first thing to know and the most important is simply knowing your class know where your your abilities are in your bar without even looking know what your defensive CDs are know what your procs are meaning if I jump in and do some abilities I know my raging burst proc is going to be ready I know my four screen proc is going to be ready and if I'm fighting somebody 1v1 I know my what my obfuscate does I know what my predation does so it's just really knowing the insides and out of your spec that you're playing. A question I get asked quite frequently is, what spec should I play? What's the best class for PvP? And I give the same answer over and over again, and I always will. Pick one you like, master it, learn the ins and outs, take it into PvP, and you will do just fine. So my second point in becoming a better PvPer is know the Warzone objective. Meaning, if we're doing hut ball, I know I have to grab the ball, go to the other side and score. If I'm doing Civil War, I know we need to catch, capture at least two turrets, guard them until the end. So, if you're not exactly sure what the objective is for the Warzone that you're in, I know this is going to sound risky, but simply ask your team and there should be somebody willing to tell you what it is to say hey I'm I'm new what, what do I need to do here and if you're running into issues you can always look for guides on the net or you can just simply ask me and I'll answer you as quickly as I can the third point which is really important is communication and map awareness so communication meaning while you're fighting it's always good to look at the chat to see if somebody needs help because in turn you might need that let's say we're doing the Alderaan Civil War map you've captured the second turret and your entire team runs back to mid and you're left guarding snow here's a little tip that I like to do and this is why so let's say you're guarding this is a turret you get stunned and they're starting to you know capture the point you're gonna break the CC and start fighting them they might stealth away or start fighting you during this time you need to let your team know that hey I got a stealth here or there's somebody else in incoming because if you don't you die and they take that point your team is gonna be really pissed off at you so I'm gonna give you a little helpful tip here because let's say you're fighting right now by the time you type in you know I got a stealth here or I got two incoming your health is going to be at maybe 30 percent maybe even dead so this is what I like to do my whole team is leaving I like to pre-type incoming too I don't have to click enter to simply click it and it's there so now if somebody opens up on us all I have to do is hit enter enter and boom it's in the chat I can immediately do what I need to do and counter. If you type that right away and your team doesn't come to help you, that's on them. So that's part of communication. And simply map awareness. For example, if we're fighting on the Void Star, on the two doors, and you notice there's three, four of you fighting one person, you got to stop and think to yourself, okay. There's a bunch of us here, one of him. What I do is I will go check the other door because eight times out of ten, there's going to be seven, six people of, of the opposing team on that side and maybe two of your team. So it's just really good to have awareness overall. It's very important. It'll make you a better PvPer just overall. So that brings me to my fourth point. Stats, gearing, and skill points. So... Generally, what I like to do when I PvP is my stats, you don't need a lack accuracy. 
keep that at zero. I like to go for 42% crit, around 12% alacrity, and I will dump the rest into power. The stats have always been up for great debate. Some people like to do 40% crit, some like to do 43, some like to do 10% alacrity. I find this is a good medium for me, and if you've seen any of my PvP videos, you know, especially ranked, 8 times out of 10, I will be leading the leaderboard in damage. So, that's just the formula that I follow. Now, when it comes to gearing, as you know, expertise is no longer in the game. So, what I do is I have set different pieces of gear that I like to swap out. For instance, these two implants have accuracy. These two don't. I have them set up a certain way. So when I PvP, I simply swap them out. Same thing with my headpiece and my boots. And it's good to have a different set for it handy if you want to bring your you know, gameplay to the next level. Yes, you can simply bring in your PvE set You'll do okay, but if you really want to take your game to the next level, this is the best way to do it. And also, the skill points time with that as well. For example, if I was to do, just to show you quickly, PvP setup, or PvE, this is what I would take. And... This is what I would take. Now... Path cover wouldn't be helpful. And broding really isn't that helpful. And, you know, build the 12 rage once, yeah, but no. So, people like to have points for regulars and ranked. I simply just run with my rank setup, which is this. Because I need the extra two seconds for undying rage, it's a big deal. Same thing with Blood Ward, and especially through Victory, because when I get rooted or stunned by snipers, I know what they're going to do. They're going to cast their big thing at me. I'm, I'm simply going to break the stun, negate all the damage with Mad Dash, go up in their face, blast them. They're going to roll away again, etc. I'm going to get rooted again. I simply force camouflage, go back in their face. So, you know, it's really important to know what skill points are needed. And I do have some video guides out there to help with that and if you can't you know find the spec you can always look for the internet or I can you know you can ask me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can so the stats gearing skill points are all very important as well my fifth point is don't blow your load at once meaning if you're fighting somebody and I see this quite often the worst thing you can do is just pop all of your defensive CDs at once because when you do that, you're leaving yourself defenseless, and they might be on a long cooldown. So when you're battling somebody, the best thing to do is pop, you know, one at a time, you know, keep fighting, pop your next one, keep fighting. If you have to, use a med pack, but then, you know, just assess the situation and go from there. The worst thing to do is just blow your load at once because you leave yourself totally open and you have nothing to work with. And lastly, war zones are about having fun. So don't forget to have fun. If you feel yourself getting frustrated, there's going to be days where you win a lot and you lose a lot. It might be 50 50. Just simply set back and go at a later time because, you know, it really is about having fun. It's, you know, a game. But if you feel yourself getting frustrated, simply step back and come back later or at another day. So those are pretty much all the points I want to make when it comes to PvP. If you follow them, starting with Know Your Class, everything else will follow, and you will bring your game to the next level. If you have any questions, and if I can help out in any way, I will do my best to. So, that's the end of this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that like button. I will see you guys in the next video.